how's it going? I'm Resell Rafa, and this is my channel, Follow My Flipping Dollar. I am a reseller, and on my channel, you can watch me pick, thrift, flip, ship, everything involved with reselling, and I just take you along the way to show you what I buy, um, hopefully at a low cost, and hopefully sell at a much higher cost on the three platforms I sell on are eBay, Amazon, and Facebook Marketplace. Let me show you the first pick of the week at Local Goodwill. Okay, so here's the first pick of this week. It is an Enjoy Coke. It is a short sleeve hoodie. I think the size is extra large. It's in great condition. I'm new to doing clothing, and this one just kind of popped out at me. It has a cool look to it. Um, I don't think it's vintage because I don't think they were doing short sleeve hoodies like a long time ago. Um, but I'm gonna, I paid six bucks for it. So we'll throw it up there and see how it does. Had one sale come through on eBay tonight. It is this Crested Butte Corduroy Green um, hat. My mom spotted this. She paid a quarter for it and it just sold for $24.99 plus shipping on top. So uh, mega multiply uh, the money there. So I got off work early today and I'm doing some thrifting at Goodwills. Um, first thing I got are these vintage like 1980s arcade power wear pants in like salmon color. They're one size fits all. Paid $4.99 on those. Getting this uh, Abercrombie and Fitch jacket, pretty heavy. It was $12.99 with a really good sell through. Pretty heavy jackets of Abercrombie and Fitch on eBay. And then this uh, Minnesota Timberwolves um, starter jacket in a size 2XL and paid $8.99 for that one. So it's Tuesday afternoon and I got off work early today and I decided to go to some Goodwills. I found um, the stuff that I showed in the clip before. Um, I found that at the first Goodwill. The second Goodwill I'd never been to. It's in a town outside of where I live and I didn't even know it was there. Um, I didn't find anything though. But on the way there, I found a like by the highway yard sale on a Tuesday afternoon. And so I thought I would stop. Um, I didn't find much, but I found, I spent four bucks. I found some vintage Coca-Cola stuff. Now I know that um, vintage Coca-Cola can be really collectible for some people, but also it seems like a lot of it is just like not worth anything. And it just takes a long time if you're not an expert in it to like sort out what's worth something, what's not. Um, I, I've i seen some other pickers though. I think it's Matt on part-time pickers pick like vintage party supplies. And so um, I did find some of that for the Coca-Cola and it is from this one is from 1988 that's the year i was born um what's really cool is it's still sealed in the package and it's in like perfect condition and so that's pretty much the reason why i picked it up i bought that vintage peanuts table cover and it was bent and it still hasn't sold but i think you know given the right time somebody might buy it um, so i got this one these napkins that are also from 1998 um everything was a dollar I got this another vintage table cover. This one is from this one's from 1988. You can see some kind of old school looking colors there, and then a vintage Christmas one that is a little bit newer, I think. Um, this one's from 1993, and I did find some sold comps on it. Um, you can see still sealed in the plastic. I think it's going for you know like between 10 and 15 bucks. And so with garage sales, um, you know, it's, let's see, it's the middle of October. It definitely, you can definitely tell that garage sale season is coming to a close. And so I really like, of course, getting stuff that profits way higher than 10 bucks a piece, but going into, um, the end of garage sale season, I'm having to be not quite as choosy, not quite as picky with my stuff. I'm picking up stuff that'll make me 10 bucks profit because I'm trying to like, you know, store up stuff for the winter time. So I have stuff to list all through the winter to hold me until next spring comes. And so um, I'm definitely trying to be a little bit more open to what I'm picking up when I'm willing to buy and spend my time listing. And what's cool about this stuff, I think I can lock some of those ones together. Um, it definitely it seems like this one and this one have similar colors that maybe somebody might buy that as a pair i don't know um but i'll let you know when they sell this oh, wait wait that's my dog tig she's not allowed in the kitchen she's not uh, wait i'm trying to film 
Okay, let me show you. Uh, this is the black, oh, take out of the kitchen. Black and Decker, a uh, 22 inch hedge trimmer that I'm getting ready to go meet up with somebody on Facebook Marketplace to sell for 20 bucks. All right, I sold uh, my second hedge trimmer for this week. She paid me 20 bucks in quarters and like a lot of like fives and ones, I think. Uh, it all works. Um, so I was getting a little worried at garage sales this weekend or last weekend that I had so many of those stacked up in my garage. I had four of them at one point with no one wanting to buy them. Um, and hedge trimmers like previous to those four have always sold really well for me. Um, but I've sold two in the last week, so I'm feeling better about my purchases. Um, I only had at most $5 invested in that one. Um, I hope I don't didn't leave the yard sale tag on that when I gave it to her. I just remember that I didn't look to take that off. I don't think there was one though. Anyway, um, I never, that's my like rule. I never pay more than $5 for those. And it, as long as they're like a newer, um, Black & Decker or, or any brand, I guess, I always pick them up because um, they do sell. So I got 20 bucks for that one. I had two sales this afternoon, one on, from Facebook Marketplace online and one from eBay. I'll show you the Facebook Marketplace order. It is this Kelty bag. Kelty's a great uh, backpacking brand. I've sold Kelty bags a couple times other than this, I think. Um, this model was the Avo set, which I really couldn't find this model. The only problem with this one is, I don't know if you can see it, the waist buckle is broken. And I, unfortunately, I didn't notice it till after I uh, got the bag home. I only paid two bucks for the bag though, and I sold it for 20. And so 20 plus shipping, and I sold that one on Marketplace, like I said. So I was still making profit. I think I would have made 30 to 40 had the buckle been working. And then on eBay, I sold this Tulsa Drillers hat. It is the brand of the hat is New Era. So I think that helped the sale on this one. I was a little concerned because um, they're a minor league team. I just wasn't sure if people collect their hats or not. Um, I had, uh, this is part of the hat deal that I bought last weekend where I bought six hats for a dollar. So I had about 17 cents into this one and it sold for 24 plus shipping. So super pretty stoked about that one. Um, I'm still waiting on the other uh, Tulsa Driller hats to sell, and we'll see if any sell locally. So I was just dropping off my packages um, from the long weekend at the post office, and I was checking my P.O. box. I had a guy on Facebook Marketplace want to buy that is like the brand is Pirine or P. -P it's like P-E-R-R-I-N-E, -E, um, and it was like a vintage little tackle box with some flies in it. And he found it on Facebook Marketplace. I had it on eBay and Marketplace. He sent me a message. He wanted to buy it. And I told him how he could buy it through Facebook Marketplace, but he said he didn't want to mess with that. And he also didn't want his wife knowing he was buying any more tackle because she divorced him. So he wanted to send me money in the mail. And so he sent me 20 bucks um, to send him the, t the, the tackle box. I mean, it's really small. It's like an aluminum one that I picked up at an estate sale. I paid $5 for it. So I think that I had it listed for 15 with $5 shipping. So that's what this covers. So a little $10 profit on that item. And I'm gonna get that in the mail tomorrow. All right, so I just went to my third Goodwill of the day. I'm pretty happy with one thing that I found at this one. I, um, I'll start off with the thing I'm not as excited about, or it's more of a gamble. Um, I found four of these vintage, I think they're from 1977, McDonald's glasses. They don't all have the same, this is Grimace. They don't all have the same character. I think the other is, I got two of like Mayor McCheese and one other character. By themselves, they're not selling for very much, but when you have them in a group of like, you know, a set, they seem to be selling. So I'm hoping that maybe, maybe even on Facebook Marketplace, it seems like I've had better luck with on Marketplace with things like this. Um, I'm gonna lot them up in a set of four, see if I can get like 20 bucks out of them. I paid 50 cents a piece, so $2 for all four. Um, the reason why I'm really excited to try Marketplace for this is on Facebook, there's a, or on eBay, there's already a lot of these glasses listed. And when I checked on Marketplace, there's fewer. And so I'm gonna try to put my inventory uh, where there's you know not as much competition. I'm gonna put it on both eBay and Marketplace but hopefully um, it'll sell a marketplace. Um, I got those. Here's what I was really excited for. Um, this brand is a brand that always does really well for me. It is LL Bean. Check these out. There's the brand. They were $9.99. Um, the condition almost couldn't be better. You could see a little bit of wear 
like on the tongue kind of I'm not sure if you can see that in the video but the outside is really nice so this is the I think the model is like the Alabash kind of like chucka boot um, I paid $9.99 on the low end I think I could get like 35 to 40 but on eBay right now no one has these listed under 60 bucks somebody has them up to like 109 and so um, the last pair of LL being the duck boots that I sold I got 75 for so it's a great uh, it's a bolo it's a great brand to be watching out for especially when you can get them for under 10 bucks by the way these are a men's size 10 and a half D um, if you don't know the average men's shoe size is about 11 to 11 half so that's a really nice size to be trying to sell because 10 and a half is really common um, at least that's in running shoes that the average shoe size is for men is like 11 or so the average women's running shoe size is about a size nine so it is wednesday morning i'm off work today went to a couple uh, thrift stores i went to how and um goodwill let me show you what i got from how this is going to be one of those things once you learn about for me like a certain item and now it's just like i'm going to find it everywhere so i got this vintage lawn chair this is the third one that i've picked up in two weeks i think they're, they're stacking up in my garage kind of like the uh, uh hedge trimmers i haven't figured out how i'm going to ship them yet because they're so like long wide but not deep and so I don't have any boxes like that. So I can't decide if I'm gonna try to sell on Marketplace or if I'm gonna wait till I get a few more maybe and then just buy several boxes that are all that size. So um, I paid two bucks for this one. Here's what I got from Goodwill. I paid $5 for this. It is a youth large. The brand is uh, Gear Protect or football padding, obviously, um, in really nice condition. These are going for like maybe like 30 to 50 on eBay. A little bit bigger to ship, but not a big deal. Um, like I said, I paid five bucks for them. Next, this is pretty a pretty cool find. Um, it is a vintage um, Wrangler. So as you know, oh, there's the tag. I am trying to get into clothes, sourcing clothes a little bit more because as garage sales end, um, if I'm going to the thrift store, I used to just pretty much do shoes. So I'm trying to branch out. I'm doing men's clothing and specifically more like winter wear just because I'm really trying to just not get overwhelmed. So I'm trying to like hone in on men's like winter type clothing. And so I found this vest and guess what? I can't find it. It's new with tags. And so that's awesome. And I paid, um, I paid $12.99 for it. The size is a 3X. There's pretty good number of these that have sold on eBay, all in used condition for like 20 plus dollars. So I'm hoping since it's vintage um, and in brand new condition, maybe I could get like 40 or something like that. So we'll see. So I'm getting ready to ship out this P. Ryan my little tackle box aluminum. Um, I am flipping my $5 into 15. So I did quite a bit of listing yesterday and I had two sales come across on Facebook Marketplace online. And so here's the first one. I sold this Innova Fat Tire Flyer, pretty cool. It's the beer company. I flipped $1 into 15, so that's pretty good profit on that one. And then next is this Giro. Um, the model on this one is the Revel. Um, this helmet is basically, along with the other, the red one that I got, is essentially in light new condition. Um, so I flipped 750 into 30. So super happy about both my sales today. So it is still Thursday, and I had some more Facebook Marketplace online orders come through. The first thing I sold are these uh, Shimano cycling shoes. They're like mountain bike uh, cycling shoes. You can see they have a cleat in the bottom of them. I actually find cycling shoes pretty often at the Goodwill. Um, and I don't always pick them up. They have to be the right brand. These were basically light new condition. So I flipped my $5 into 20 on that one with shipping on top. Next, I sold the second helmet of today, um, another Giro helmet. This one was the Rift model and another basically light new uh, condition one. I flipped my $750 into $30 plus shipping. And then the last sale that came through, I've already got it packaged up basically. It is 
uh, this vintage Wrangler vest. I flipped my $13 into $45. I had several offers on this one, like under $40. Bucks, and I replied back that like $40 was the lowest I could go. Because it's, you know, vintage brand new attacks. And you just don't find that that often. So, um, but I ended up getting $45 for it. So that's even better. I just sold this set, this cap set of eight pound weights. I had five into these. I flipped my five into 15 pretty much. I sold them for $30 with free shipping. And if you don't know from the US post office, you can get um, free shipping supplies, like free boxes. One of the boxes they have is called a medium flat rate. It looks like this. This is like the perfect size to, to sell uh, dumbbells in that are like smaller dumbbells and um, Anyway, in these flat rate boxes, you can ship things up to 70 pounds. And so these fit, they're gonna be 16 pounds plus the weight of the box. And so they fit in there perfectly. I did have these listed um, after this weekend, but then I realized I was out of these flat rate boxes. So I had to pull my listing down, get some new boxes, and I put them back up for sale this morning. And they sold uh, in less than like 12 hours. So pretty good sale on these and um, if you don't know, like when you list something on eBay, you list the condition. It could be like new, used, if it's closed, new with tags. This one I listed as new, other. And so the deal on these is they still have the tags on them. So they're kind of new. But the problem is, see, if, see right there, it looks like the dumbbell kind of has a cut in the, um, oh, what type of dumbbell is this? The neoprene. And so I just described that in the item detail that it's like basically new, but it also has a cut in it. And so that would be an example of if you're new to reselling, you might use the new other um, condition setting. So anyway, um, I was going to ship these in a um, regional A box. That a regional A box ships at the two pound rate, but in that box, you can only uh, put things up to 15 pounds. So I couldn't use that one. So thanks so much for watching this episode of Follow My Flipping Dollar. I'm Resale Rafa. Be sure and hit the like and subscribe button.